Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Thursday's House of Games. Lovely to have you here. What a great week. We are having three separate winners already this week. Somebody tomorrow is walking away with a trophy. Who is it going to be? I think it's going to be one of these four. They are Jenny Eclair, <laughs> Diane Buswell, Owen Wynn Evans, and Adam Jamili. <laughs> Owen, a win yesterday. And yes. just before the cameras rolled, you were teaching us how to do a paradiddle as well. I was doing a little paradiddle, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Oh, dear. So, None of us. Oh, work. no. Whoa. Look at us. <laughs> Come on, we can all paradiddle, oh, darlings. Paradiddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Didn't your 24 hour drumming raise more money for children in need than any other celebrity endeavour ever? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was, it did, Richard, and I was just so amazed, you know. There was, I don't know what it was, there was something about it that people loved, yeah. and obviously playing the drums for 24 hours was hard, but. <laughs> I, I love playing so. the drums, luckily. That's so. lucky. Your neighbours less so. Oh, the neighbours. <laughs> you know, luckily I wasn't doing the 24 hours at home. Otherwise, <laughs> okay, I think well, there would have been good. problems. Oh, but congratulations <laughs> anyway. And listen, congratulations to our three winners so far. Jenny, Adam and Owen have all won shows. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard as it stands. There we go. Adam up Ooh. the top there in the familiar gold medal position for him. Adam, how are you feeling with two shows to go? Uh, quite nervous now. It's coming to, like, the sort of final straight. <laughs> so yeah, it's... isn't it just? You've got to make sure you're positioned correctly. Absolutely. Don't you? But anything can happen, so, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm delighted to have that win. I was so delighted and uber delighted that I got the motorised salt and pepper grinders. Oh, my goodness. I mean, do you know what? I've given them away a lot. I sort of... I discovered halfway through the series that they were motorised, mm. but you're the first person to point out they've got LED lights in them. <laughs> really? You didn't know that? I had no idea. <laughs> I think as far as the accuracy of seasoning your food is concerned, it's perfect. And actually, Aaron, my husband, always says that I under-season the food, so... Not anymore. No, no excuses. No. Aaron, <laughs> no Aaron, no excuses. if that's his worst complaint... Yeah. Actually, probably his worst complaint is probably the drumming. To be That's fair. true. Drumming, then seasoning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. there are many more, I think. Uh, Diane, shall we take a look at today's prizes? I can't promise you anything with an LED light, I'm afraid. Please. But I can promise you one oh. of these. Oh, Deck chair, wow. frisbee, the sunglasses, the compost bin, or the fondue set. What do you fancy? Oh, I thought that was a hot dog thing, but um, <laughs> I like that little stick thing. The fond I guess it's the fondue the set. Fondue set. Mm, the fondue set. I love chocolate and strawberries. There we go. Ooh, uh, Jenny, I'm what thinking you go for? cheese with the fondue. Yeah, yeah. What I'm taking that off you, Diane, because I think chocolate in a fondue is all kinds of wrong. Oh, really? And I want a cheesy <laughs> fondue. Oh, go. a cheesy fondue. Yeah. Okay. I'm going both. Uh, Adam, what do you fancy? The deck chair or the glasses is actually appealing yeah, to me. Yeah, of course it is. I think uh, so. No wine. I'm torn between the deck chair and possibly the compost bin. It looks, <laughs> looks nice and sturdy, yeah, doesn't Imagine it? being torn between a deck chair and a <laughs> compost bin. Um, shall we get on and play Thursday's House of Games? Three separate winners already this week. Who is going to take away our trophy tomorrow? Uh, let's find out Thursday's champion first, shall we? Round one is... Correction Centre. Jenny, we are going to start with you. I'm going to read you out a sentence. It is incorrect. Oh, I know. However, if you change... I know. I know. <laughs> Nightmare. Um, however, if you change one word, it will become correct. OK. OK, so it's incorrect now. How do we make this correct? In the 1990s, Chris Evans presented shows including Don't Forget Your Toothbrush, TFI Friday and The Big Bang. We'll take away bang and replace it with breakfast. Absolutely right. Big bang becomes a big breakfast. Well played, Jenny. You see how it works, Diane? I do. Excellent. Yeah, it's definitely different to how I thought it worked, but okay. now I know. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> listen, I'm glad you're in seat two, not seat one. Uh, I have an incorrect statement for you. Okay. okay. You have to change one word to correct it. Okay. When Steven Spielberg finally directed a musical, it was a remake of a classic film about fierce rivals <laughs> called West Brom Story. That's easy. Let's replace Brom with side. Brom with side? Yes. I want to see West Brom Story. Yeah, I'd watch <laughs> West Brom Story. Yeah. That's a movie that I like to watch. West Side Story. Well done, Diane. Um, Owain, here's your incorrect statement. E.B. White's classic children's books include Charlotte's Web and Ralph Little. Now, I'm not sure if this is right, but I am going to guess that can we replace Ralph with Stuart? Is it Stuart Little? Should we replace Ralph with Stuart? Well worked out, right. it is oh. Stuart Little. Do you know how I remembered that? 
Go on. The music video for Celine Dion's I'm Alive. <laughs> Right. It's for the animated version of Stuart Little. Is it? Wow, how about that? Um, Adam. Yes. Adam, let's see if you can get this from a Celine Dion video. <sighs> In 2002, people flocked to see the seventh highest grossing film of all time, a gripping tale about the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's secrets rather than commerce. Change commerce to secrets? Yeah. You guys are good at this round. No mucking about at all. Harry Potter movie, Chamber of Secrets. Well done if you said that at home. We're four from four in the studio. You're four from four at home. Jenny, back to you. An annual US Thanksgiving tradition that takes place at the White House sees the president pardon the pun. We're going to take away pun and we're going to replace it with turkey. They're not mucking about today, are they? Normally people are all over the place on this one. It is pardon the turkey. Diane, yeah. I have one for you. OK. In 2019, Ed Sheeran and Stormzy topped the UK singles chart for five weeks with Take Me Back to Bed. Ah, oh, it's, uh... Oh, Take Me Back to... Let's replace Bed with Ed. Replace Bed with Ed? No. I mean, it was, no? it was said with such conviction. Yeah, I... Well, I thought yeah. Ed Sheeran, Take Me Back to Ed. Do you think that Ed Sheeran would do a song called Take Me Back to Ed? Who knows? No, yeah. <laughs> Uh, any, anybody? I love the fact I looked at the screen because I had no idea what the answer I thought, maybe it is Ed. <laughs> take no me idea. back to... Anyone, anyone? So take me we... back to Peckham. <laughs> yeah, that, actually, that would actually make sense yeah. for, uh, for those two. Um, shall we find out what they were taking us back to? London. London. Peckham. Peckham. Same thing, isn't it? London, Peckham. <laughs> Uh, take me back to London. Apologies to everyone for our ignorance there. We did not know. It's nice when you get one wrong when no one else knows yeah. it as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's very comforting. Oh, Wayne, I have an incorrect statement for you. Okay. I, I apologize in advance. Apology oh. accepted. I uh, thank you. And I wonder if you could help me out. Legend has it that the landmark known as the Giant's Beanstalk was created by the mythical Finn McCool. Is it Giant's Causeway? So replace Beanstalk, Beanstalk with Causeway? Causeway, yeah. Hmm, is oh, it? Well done. Well done, Very Giant's clever. Causeway. Nicely played. <laughs> Incredible place. Adam, final question in this round goes to you. Alibaba and the 40 Thieves tells of a treasure-filled cave that will open only to those who say the magic words, open, please. <laughs> open, please. <laughs> so, um, I think open sesame? Rather James, than open, please, please. with sesame? Yep. It is open sesame. It should be open sesame, please. That would yeah. be polite really, manners. Like... Really, a little bit of both. Um, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. <laughs> Diane, you have one point. Everyone else with two. Owen, Adam and Jenny, co-leaders. Well done. Round two is going to be... <laughs> All in the details of pairs game. Diane, you get to choose your partner today. Who would you like to pair up with? I'm going to have to go with Owain. I feel Hi. like we we do work well together. We do redheads we together. We do, we they do. They also look like they're going to a wedding. We do. I feel oh, like we're yeah. dressed very similar. Well, wow. we have cool some news. Well. Actually, Diane and I are getting married. <laughs> I mean, yes, that right here, right now. <laughs> that has taken a lot of people by surprise. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, the internet just exploded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Adam and Diane, if you could swap places, please. Adam, welcome. Don't this into the studio. Team me up with Jenny. And oh, Owain and Diane the team. Before. Now, before the show, um, you all filled in some details, uh, something to do with geography. You're now going to have to look at the clues your partner gave before the show. Oh. Um, Jenny, before the show, Adam filled in some clues, which I'm hoping will lead you to a tourist attraction. Oh, I'm okay. really sorry. Adam had up to three words to fill in some worry. clues. Honestly, <laughs> oh, Adam, no. you're forgiven. Before we start, <laughs> OK, it's all right. Which tourist attraction is this, please? It was officially opened in, according to Adam, 1968. Okay. That's very specific for this one. I just... Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Is. it is located in the county of, according to Adam, Lancashire. OK, is it a pie factory? And <laughs> it was inspired by a structure in, according to Adam, Paris. Oh, OK, I don't think it's 1968. I think it's before 1968, but I think it's the Blackpool Tower. Is it the Blackpool Tower? Very well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Come on. 
Actually, 1894. Was it? Yeah, 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 1894. Yeah, yeah. You ever been to the Blackpool Tower, Diane? Oh, many a yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought many a time. Thought, thought you might have been. <laughs> uh, well played, Adam. Well played, Jenny. Nicely done. Oh, and before the show, Diane filled in some clues. Okay, yes. and they should lead you to a city. Okay. Okay, but right. which city is the question we have to answer? Here are your clues. It is located in, according to Diane, desert. Okay. <laughs> it has a main road known as, according to Diane, <laughs> long one, desert. <laughs> You're allowed up to three words, it's the... Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I think and right. it's known for, according to Diane, losing oh, money. Oh, yeah. oh it's good. Nice. It's good. Great. Um, I... I think I might have driven along Long One Desert, actually, <laughs> when I visited this city. Uh, and it is very long. Is it Las Vegas? Las yes! Vegas, well yes! done. <laughs> yeah, I was concerned after the first two. That's a, that's a very good final clue for <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> Located in uh, Nevada, surrounded by desert. It's, its main road is called... It's actually called officially Long One Desert, as you said. It's the, that's the name of the... It's, not, it's called is the Strip. It... Oh, I would never have known that. <laughs> the strip in Vegas. Very, very well played, both of you. Now, Adam, before the show, Jenny filled in some clues. And they will lead you, I am certain, to a country. OK. But which country? Oh, it's quite hard. Is it? Oh, OK. Its landscape includes, according to Jenny, mountains. What is one of its traditional dishes, according to Jenny? Strudel. OK. OK. And it is the birthplace of, according to Jenny, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Austria. Austria? Oh, well done! Well done. <laughs> Great oh. clues as well. Very good clues. Nicely Thank you. played. This landscape does include mountains, I'll give you that. Trudel, schnitzel, one of their traditional dishes, and it is the birthplace of Arnie. Mozart, I was thinking maybe as well. Yeah. Diane, you now have to guess an answer. Uh, Owen is going to give you three clues, okay. and they will lead you to an island. Oh, an island. An but island. which island is it? Mm. It is located in the, according to Owen, sea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank thought, you, Owen. Is it? I thought I'd just be vague. That yeah. really narrows it Good. down. <laughs> um, it is part of the country of, according to Owen, Greece, Ooh. and it is known for, according to Owen. <laughs> Greek oh, food. No. Okay. Wow. I feel like I've really nailed in oh, a lot of detail yeah. here. Hang on a minute. Mykonos. Is it Mykonos? It's not Mykonos. No. Okay, we'll, we'll all have a guess. What, what else? We don't get extra points. For. I would say Skiathos, possibly. There's a lot of Greek islands. Corfu, is that an island? Corfu. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah. No. Crete? No. It is Crete. Oh, oh yeah. it was Crete, Crete, which, as we know, is located in the sea. It oh. is located so... in the sea. It's located <laughs> in the Mediterranean Sea. That is a tough one. That, it, I don't it's eat. really Crete. tough. Because uh, I wouldn't know what Crete was known it's for. It's known for, uh, well, like Knossos, you know, the Minotaur, all that kind of stuff. I think it was a tough one. That's the end of the round. Uh, Diane and Adam, if you will swap back, please. <laughs> and our leaderboard looks a little bit like this. Diane, you have two points. Owain, oh, three points. We have joint leaders, Jenny and Adam, with four Ooh. points each. Interesting. And Diane, once again, no zeros on that board. No zeros. No zeros, no negos. No, no All negos. going well. <laughs> Let's play our next round, shall we? It is... The backwards round. OK, in this round, you have to give your answers backwards. So if I oh. asked your name, you would say a Claire Jenny. OK. OK? Buzzers on fingers. Oh. Oh, okay. oh clever. You think. One question. Singer, which four hits one number UK were ring seven? And next, you think positions. <laughs> yes, that is Owain. Grande Ariana. Grande Ariana? <laughs> Correct. So Ariana Grande becomes Grande Ariana. It sounds even more like a coffee. <laughs> it does, I'll have the it? Grande Ariana, please. Question next. Event athletics, which in athletes by use technique A is flop, Fosbury, the. That is Adam. Jump high. Jump high. That's a better name for it in a way. Yeah, it? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it's like from the 100 metres run fast. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> instruction. Yeah, exactly. Uh, high jump, jump high, well played. Question next. Song, this of title, the is what? 
Yes, a wine. Um, fun of house. Fun of house. Is that correct? Is it house of fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was quick. Got into my brain. By Madness. Well played, OI. Next one. Song ABBA and after named sitcom which in starred Dreyfus James and Burke, Kathy. Yes, OI. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> it is gimme, oh, gimme, nice gimme. Nice. Well done, question writers there. Gimme, gimme, gimme becomes gimme, gimme, gimme. Nicely done. Question next. The song this of title the is what? Oh, I am. Love found we. Love found we. Correct. Well done. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Question final. Turban gold and blue. A wearing woman. A depicts Vermeer Johannes by painting which. Yes, Jenny. Earring pearl are uh, in. I'm afraid not, everybody. Mm. We were looking for earring pearl at with girl. Girl oh, with a well, pearl. Well, I was making a hash of it. Earring. That is the end of that round. That was oh, wow, you're good at that. You're good at yeah, thinking backwards. Yeah. Um, leaderboard. Here's how we look. Diane with two, Jenny with four, Adam with five, Owen with seven. Oh, Up the lead, man. he won yesterday. Thank Is he going to make it two in a row, I wonder? Let's find out, shall we? Let's play round four. I'm terrible at dating. I wonder if you could take your tablets out, please, everybody. Oh, OK. I'm going to give you a series of events from world history. You just have to write down the year in which you think those events happened. And I know, I know. <laughs> and whoever is closest will win a point. Fabulous. Can you feel the shame yeah. already? <laughs> yeah. We might as well call this the round of shame. <sighs> this is your first one. Can you write me down the year when this happened, please? A European encounters a pineapple for the first time. <laughs> that is a great question, It's a good Richard. question, isn't it? What do you reckon at home on this one? First European. Uh, to, this, it just raises so many other questions. Mm. How did they know they'd encountered a pineapple? How did they know to eat it? Well, everybody will eat anything. Yes, I guess someone non-European had said to them, Yeah. we eat this stuff. Jenny, what are you saying here? I said 1700. 70, and a lovely drawing. Of a pineapple. Of a pineapple. Oh, 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 look at it. It's That's nice what they look like. <laughs> um, Diane, what are you saying? 1624. 1624. Oh, I. Well, as soon as I'd finished writing the last number, I immediately regretted writing something that is actually so recent in history. I think it would be before this. You think, I mean, I'm I mean, sure, yeah, yeah, 1851. Adam? I've gone 1538. 1538, we're so we're in close. four entirely different centuries. 16th, 17th, 18th and 19th century. I wonder who first encountered a pineapple and when it happened. Let's find out when it happened and who scored the points. 1493. Oh, wow. oh, well. Adam, well done. Well done. Um, do you know who the first European to encounter a pineapple was? Historically, they say, someone just told me, Christopher Columbus. Columbus. Oh, really? And his crew in Guadeloupe. Lovely. Here's your next question. What year did this happen, please? James Naismith's newly invented game basketball is played for the first time. Oh. Hmm. Quite cool to just be one guy who invented a big sport like basketball. Yeah. What do we think at home on this one? Basketball. Do you have any knowledge on this? Diane, what do you think here? Well, I went for the 1800s, 1853. Yeah, it sounds... It sounds just right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Wayne, you're in the same century? I went for 1899, so yes. Yeah, same yeah. century. Mm. Adam, our professional sportsman, I don't know if it will help. Similar, 1822. 1822, oh, we're oh, all we're in the, the 19th century. Jenny. Um, I'm 1890. 1890, oh. and once again, oh. what a lovely guys. drawing. Oh, I see. Oh, let's have a look, Jenny. No, it's a poor one. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> not a poor one. <laughs> that looks like my patio heater. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out, shall we? When was basketball played and who has scored the point? <gasps> Jenny! Oh, Whoa. my gosh! The least 40 percent. Wow, <laughs> that's very close. Very well played, close. Jenny. Good one. It was 1891. Next question. What year did this happen, please? The Royal Observatory is founded in Greenwich. When was that, 
please. Anyone been? Yes, it's beautiful. Yes. Lovely day out, isn't it? Yeah, Greenwich, and the view from mm. up there is fabulous. What do we think at home in this one? This feels further back. I think it's pre-basketball, I mind is my thinking. What are you, you thinking here? Yeah. See, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I, I thought it might be a bit... I thought it would be 1911. And you've been there. And I've been there, and, and I've probably gone a little bit too modern with it. I was just thinking of the technology used... Oh, yeah, I guess. ..in order um, to, you is, know, yeah. get the optics. Is that a starry optics? night sky starry, you've starry gone night. for there as well? That's like Van like Gogh, that is. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank Absolutely you. Well, lovely. Can I say? Thanks. Adam? I was really stuck. I, I, I find, like, finished on this number, but I had, like, 1,200 written, 1,500, and I thought... Yeah, 1754. I think it might be a bit a bit earlier than that, but I don't know. Jenny, what are you saying here? I went 1680. 1680. Oh, I'm looking more and more scared about his 1911 <laughs> as we go on. Diane, what are you saying? 1624. 1624, fairly close to Jenny. Yeah. So three of you sort of fairly close to Owain going out on his own there in the, uh, in the 20th century. Let's take a look, shall we? When was the Royal Observatory founded? Who scored the point? 1675. <gasps> Again? Wow, Jenny, oh, wow. you are good at this round. I don't know how. 1675, Jenny. Um, we have one more year to guess, one more event from world history to write down on our tablets, and it is this. Fingerprint evidence is used for the first time to secure a criminal conviction in the UK. When was that? Ooh. Oh, dear. What do you reckon at home on this one? <laughs> Everybody is in. Adam, what are you thinking here? 1897. 1897 doesn't sound crazy. I mean, it's like the year of the detectives and all that kind of stuff, isn't it? Jenny, what are you saying? I think I might have got confused between fingerprinting and forensics. Oh, yeah, I know what you 1930. mean. 1930. You never know, though. No, that's mm, true. You never yeah. know. Earlier. Diane, what do you Ooh, say? Oh, I think I've really gone off here, but I put... <laughs> 11 30. I, wow. I, 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 did, I didn't say what time of day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how you say that. What do you say? 11 hundred? 11 30, yeah. In, in 11 yeah, 30. the 12th century, the 11 hundred. There you go. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, we'll see oh, right. I went for 1891. Oh, very yeah. close to Thinking, uh, Adam. You know, I, was, I was actually, I actually wrote 1891, and I cried because no. I thought it was the because it was the basketball. I, was like, I can't be the same. Oh yeah, back to back. Yeah, so yeah. Now yeah. I yeah likely if they were both the same year. Yeah. So when did this first happen? Who scored the point? <gasps> 1902. Ooh. That wow. is Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Very nicely done. Well, the points were scored from being very close in this round. Really, really good work, everyone. Tablets yeah. away, please. Talking of close, the leaderboard is close as well as we go to play Answer Smash. Let's take a look at it. Diane with two, but look at that. Wow, just one point between them. Very Jenny close. six, Owen seven, Adam seven. Our three winners this week, just one point apart as we go into Answer Smash. How about that? Our final round, of course, is... Answer Smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Up for this one. Your first category is... People mentioned in Madonna's Vogue. Those will be the pictures. Great. Which act had hits in the 90s with Deeply Dippy and I'm Too Sexy? <laughs> yes, Owain. This might be wrong. Right said Fred Astaire. Right said Fred Astaire. It's right is what it is. Well done. Good start to the round. Done a bit of voguing in my time. Next clue, next picture. What word for a fragrant mixture of dried petals comes from the French for rotten pot? <laughs> yes, that's Diane. Pot puree. No. Pot puree, I'm not sure of the next bit. I'm probably going to need the next, but I think, mm, yeah, I think I'm sorry. you might. We'll time you out. Mm. Feels to me like Jenny might have an answer here. Jenny. Popa Rita Hayworth. Popa Rita Hayworth. Oh. It is Popa Rita and Rita Hayworth. Popa Rita Hayworth. Next clue. Next picture. The 1997 film starring Brad Pitt as a mountaineer is titled Seven Years in Where. Nobody. I'll tell you, we're looking for Tibetty Davis. Oh. Tibet and Betty Davis. Oh. Next 
category is snack food. Cool. Okay, right, snack might food. Be those yeah, are really might, might be all right. Suddenly everyone's fun. interested. Which 2022 film, subtitled A Knives Out Mystery, stars Daniel Craig as Detective Benoit Blanc? Yes, Jenny. A Knives Out Mystery... R onion Rings. Incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose mm. points. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Yes, Diane. A Knives Out... Misterings. You lose another point as well. Mm. You've got to be careful because you're right. You know you didn't want to go nego at any oh, point. Oh no, you're... I'm going nego, aren't no, I? No, you're on zero oh, now, though. No. You're on zero now, <gasps> so just be careful. <gasps> Anybody? It was the Knives Out movie, but it was a, a glass <laughs> onion. Glass so onion. glass oh, onion oh, rings we were looking for. Next clue, next picture. The name of which dried berry ground for use as a spice can also refer to a nominal rent. Yes, that is Owain. Pepper Cornish pasty. Pepper Cornish pasty. Good answer. Well done. Brave bars from Owain. Peppercorn and Cornish pasty. Next clue, next picture. Michael Miles and Des O'Connor have presented which TV show that featured the yes no game? Yes, that is Owain. I hope this is right. Take your pickled eggs. Take your pickled oh, eggs. Oh, nice. That's correct. Oh. Take your pick of pickled eggs. Take yes. your pickled eggs. <laughs> there we go. We're done. We're done. We're done. Again. I think you've back to back. Smashed that Lovely one. Lovely bit of answer smashing there from Owain. I think he's done it, hasn't he? Let's take a look. Jenny's been a champ. Adam's been a champ. And now Owain is a two time champ. Well played, oh. Owain. Oh, <laughs> and you've won yourself a little prize as well. Wow. Nice, isn't it? Which of these would you like? I'm thrilled. Now, earlier I was torn between the deck chair, which, can I say, looks absolutely mm. gorgeous. Oh, yeah, for sure. And the compost bin. <laughs> which looks... Which also gorgeous. Looks useful. Very useful. Um, I think, though, that I'm going to go for the fondue set. Whoa! Yeah. Absolutely yeah. blindsided us there. So, well, this both. Is the, I think I would choose both. Yes, yeah. I agree. Both. Why not? Well done, Owain. <laughs> Thank you. Holy House of Games. Bon set. We have one day to go. Double points Friday. Eight points for a win tomorrow. Six for second, four for third, two for fourth. And here is our leaderboard going into it. Ooh, how about that, Diane? You have seven points. Jenny, ten. Owain, 12. Adam still just out in the lead there with 13. But double points Friday. Anybody could do it still. Um, yes. Well played, Owain. Oh, two wins in Thank a row. You. Good to have some momentum. But whoever wins tomorrow has got to be feeling pretty good about that trophy. Who's going to take it? I'll see you here tomorrow for the final. Yes. Yeah. We'll, see yeah. we'll see you here as well for the final of the House of Games. Dishwasher safe yeah. feature, do your face. Yeah, let's say, yeah. OK. And listen, if, if the label accidentally were to come off in the dishwasher, hmm, say la vie. <laughs> say la vie, indeed. In the <laughs> immortal words of Bewitched, say la vie. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thrilled. <laughs>